I'm Bill Schaefer and I am the owner of Hyena Gallery. We, our gallery specializes in dark art, weird stuff, oddities, unusual things. I've been here for 11 years with Hyena and when I first opened, all the dark artists in the area were told they could only show in October. They were only good for Halloween shows. And it's always been like the stigma for anyone doing darker stuff, spooky stuff, horror related art. And I, I showed them, I'm like, we'll just do this, you know, year round. This is what I like, we're gonna show it. When I'm trying to pick out a new artist to show, I look for a level of professionalism. But when you're dealing with outsider art, that's really varied. Someone who's not a hobby artist, someone who's seriously just doing art, whether it's for commercial reasons or not, just as long as it's their passion and they're, they're consistently producing. When you're not afraid to show the stuff I show, you get a weird reputation and people are not afraid to bring you things. So over the years, we've had a lot of human skeletons, human skulls, like real bones. We've had hit bits of human skin, like preserved with tattoos and jars, stuff painted in human blood. I had a piece by Boyd Rice painted in uh, period blood. You get access to some really cool stuff, and it's just by knowing the people who've been collecting it the longest and who have the most connections and, you know, getting on their good side. I think the intention of the gallery was to inspire. Uh, more than anything else, I want people to come in here and be inspired. Um, and you'll see that a lot with people's first impressions when they come in the gallery. They'll walk in and they'll kind of pause, soak it in, and there, there's a lot to soak in. Every now and then you'll see that, that little click in their head where they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, this, this is it. Like, and it's a place they've had in their head but they've never actually walked into before. Because most galleries are really stuffy and they'll have like, you know, 10 paintings on the walls, on these giant white walls that are all like $20,000, $10,000. And that doesn't appeal to most people. They, they kind of have um, different tastes than like the New York art scene or the highfalutin LA art scene. So this is supposed to appeal to them. It's supposed to take that person who never thought this was possible in art and just kind of click it. And I've had so many people like in turn take stuff from here and transfer it into their art, just the, the feeling of it, and realize you can go a little farther with art than a landscape or what, what other galleries allow you to do. There's really no limits here. Like I don't censor, um, I, I love to see what's in someone's head truly. And a lot of that's exercising demons for people and demons are ugly, they're not pretty. Uh, but in artwork it's just gorgeous.